Common carp are an invasive species in Minnesota, and they've caused a reduction in aquatic vegetation in over 70% of lakes in southern Minnesota. So we're hoping to control them because they act as ecological engineers and they actually reduce the ability of uh, native species to be able to thrive in Minnesota lakes. Despite the name common carp, this isn't something we want commonly found here in the state. It's in hundreds of lakes, unfortunately, right now, but it causes huge problems. If we can find a way to get this out cost effectively, it could allow for major improvements in water quality. The restoration of these lakes, bring them back to a more natural state and uh, restore native uh, environments. We have non-target poisons, we have barriers we can put in, we have saning. The problems with those is we affect the native species too. So the question is, can we find something that just gets the common carp out? So we're interested in a specific virus called koi herpes virus. And we're interested in koi herpes virus because it only affects common carp and its ornamental variety, koi carp. So that means that it would be a really safe biocontrol agent. So the inspiration for this project really came from the lack of options. The tools in the toolbox just weren't there and we need to think creatively and come up with a new solution. At the same time, Australia was pursuing a very similar approach uh, using koi herpes virus to control common carp there. Uh, we took what they were doing, uh, modified it a bit as it applies here in Minnesota and then moved forward and developed this research project. We're trying to answer every um, possible question up front so we don't get surprised along the way. A lot of what I do is actually just going out and collecting fish uh, to take out specific organs that may have a high titer of viruses and then looking at those in the lab to see if the viruses are there. We also go out to um, what are called fish kill sites um, where there's a mass die off of fish and we look to see if there is a pathogen that caused that mass die off. So this project relies heavily on people in the field reporting fish kills to us. If we're going to find a possible virus that we could use or understand KHV better, we need people to report fish kills. These reports come in from the DNR, um, watershed districts, and members of the public, and there's an easy place to report that for anybody to input the data and contribute to this research project. 